If you wanna make more money from your live streams, you're gonna love this new feature from Streamlabs OBS. I'm gonna tell you what it is, give you a full walkthrough, and we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick, welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos, and all types of other YouTube-related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, so Streamlabs OBS just updated one of their features that's gonna help you make a lot more money from your live streams. In fact, if you can come up with a fun way to use this, you're gonna be getting paid by the second for your live streams. Yeah, by the second. The feature is a media share feature that allows people to submit their videos to you and pay you by the second to watch their videos during your stream. So we're gonna head over to the computer and I'm gonna show you how you can use this feature to make more money in your live streams. Let's go. The very first thing that you wanna do, of course, is you wanna log into your Streamlabs OBS. From there, you wanna to go to your dashboard. Once you're in your dashboard, you wanna scroll down to where it says media share beta, depending on when you're seeing this, that beta may not be there, but you wanna click on media share. Now, right up here in the very top right-hand corner, you're gonna see the on and off. So you wanna make sure that you have this set to on. For this, I'm gonna go ahead and choose the auto show so that when the videos are loaded in there, they're going to automatically show instead of having to manually go in there and say to show every one. So I'm gonna hit this and then I'm gonna click on next. And then this basically just tells you, you're gonna see this on your end as well. This basically just tells you where to find the different aspects of setting this whole thing up. I'm gonna show it all to you right here as we go through this. So next I'm gonna click on got it. Now, just to give you a breakdown of what's going on here on this page, this right here is where your actual widget URL is gonna be. Of course, you wanna make sure that you copy this. Then we're also going to launch this into a new window. And the reason for that, you're gonna see right here in a minute. Now the price per second, this is basically, let's say that you're showing a five second video, then this is saying that, hey, you're gonna charge 10 cents per second. So that would give you 50 cents for five seconds of a video. This is the minimum amount that you'll take for showing someone's video. And this is the maximum duration, because of course, if you're live streaming, you don't wanna show somebody's 10 minute video because you don't want it to take up all of your stream, right? And then from there, of course, you have your buffer time, you have spam security in there. And if you end up banning media, this is also gonna be where you're going to see that as well. But once you get that all figured out and you have this launched, the next thing you wanna do is you just wanna click on save settings. And once you have that done, you're going to go back into your editor so that you can set all of this up. Once we are back in the editor tab, we're gonna go down to the sources and we're going to add a browser source in this situation. And then we're gonna add the link to this browser source, which here I'm just going to go copy that URL that I just got. And then on this, I'm gonna turn this to a 1920 by 1080. And then I'm going to click on done. So as you're seeing right here, what's going to happen is it's gonna give you the full frame of this video. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this corner and I'm gonna shrink this down so that it's on top of my stream so that I can watch this video with my viewers for the reaction or however I wanna do it. But of course, you know, if you have this scaled to where, you know, it'll take up your full screen, then you can have the option to show it full screen if you want. But in this case, I'm gonna be acting like I'm gonna be watching it along with my viewers so that maybe I'm gonna be doing a reaction to what it is that they are showing me or something along those lines. From there, of course, you're gonna move it into whatever position that you would like to have it. And then once you have that taken care of, you're gonna go over to your live setting. And once you're in this live setting, of course, you're going to see right down here in the corner, you're gonna see how this is already pulling up a video. And you're probably thinking, wait a minute, how's it know what video to pull from? The reason for that is because if you look under the media share tab right here, there's already a one here. And that's from a video that I've previously loaded into the system. So it's automatically pulling that first video that's in the queue. Now, a couple things I wanna show you here really quick is you see where it says hide video. If you click on hide video right here, then what's gonna happen is it's going to take it off of your screen right there to where you're not gonna be able to see it. Nobody else is gonna be able to see it. But when you click on show video, then it's gonna put it back on your screen to where you're gonna be able to watch it. Other people are gonna be able to see it as well. It's gonna be part of your stream. And if you click on the little gear icon here, this is gonna show you some more options in terms of starting the auto play, which we have it set to automatically do, um, turning off the auto show, which we also have it automatically set to do. We wanna make sure that all that stuff is on um, and to deactivate moderators and things along those lines. But for now, we're gonna keep it set as it is. And what you're gonna see here is you're gonna see the video that is actually in the queue, okay? Now, in addition to the things that people are going to submit to you, and I'm gonna show you exactly how they're gonna do that right here in a second, but in addition to the things that people are going to submit to you, if you go over here to the right, you're gonna see an add media option. Now, if you click on that, this is also gonna give you the option to add any videos that you want. So even if you just wanna show videos of your own, say you wanna reference other videos of yours and you just wanna have them come right up in your stream, you can actually use this to queue them up so that you can do that as well. 
But for this one, I've already got a video in the queue, so I'm just gonna close this for now. Now, this is the part right now where I can go ahead and just click play and trigger this if I want. So you're gonna see when I click play. For growing your channel. Number one. That the video starts playing in the little box up here in the top left, and it starts playing right down here in my window, which is confirming with me, hey, people are gonna be able to see this during the live stream. Now, if you wanna make this available so that people can submit their videos to you, so that you can watch their videos, so that you can generate some money from this, or just so that you can highlight people for whatever reason, then what you need to do is you need to go back into your dashboard. Once you're inside of your dashboard, you want to go down to the donation settings right here under my donations. And then you're going to see here a URL that is your custom Streamlabs URL, your donations page. So what you want to do is you want to copy that and then you want to make sure that you add that to your Twitch description or to your YouTube description or whatever platform it is that you happen to be streaming on or just a page on your website that you can send people to so that you can have people submit these videos to you and of course pay you per second to watch these videos. Now when somebody submits a video to you it's going to look something like this okay. Now my Twitch header you can't actually see it in here. This is what my Twitch header actually looks like. If you're not following me on Twitch definitely make sure to head over and follow me on Twitch the name is the same, of course, but you're going to see here that this is confirming right here that this is the actual Twitch. Like this is what's happening right now. So if I was on YouTube, then you would see my YouTube URL here. And then of course here they can put their username. They put the donation amount. They put any message that they have. So in this case, if it was something for, for my channel, they might say, Hey, you know, will you check out my intro? And then down here is the actual media they want to share. So all this stuff up here at the top, this is the stuff that's been there on the donation page. But this down here is what shows up once you turn that option on inside of the media share settings. So this is where they drop their URL and then they put a specific start time because remember they're paying by the second. So it's very important that they make sure that they give you the right time to watch the video from. And then once they have all that put together, if they've paid enough, of course, they can add a gift to it and they can add effects and then they would click the donate button to actually submit the entire thing. Pretty cool feature, right? And in addition to this, Streamlabs also has a bunch of other ways that you can make money from your live streams as well. So if you're not familiar with Streamlabs, you can get them down in the description below. I'm also gonna put a link right up here to some more Streamlabs videos so you can see more of what you can do with Streamlabs OBS. So make sure you go and check those out as well. And if you wanna learn more about growing your channel, making videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.